time to play Terraria again with without Oh my god, wait. Oh, whoa, whoa. wrong Terraria. Hold up. Time to restart my Terraria run again. What is happening? Anime overhaul? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? We're gonna enable all except for that one. I'm 99% sure my uh... Wow, P real pop pop. Is this why there's a pop filter? Okay, no. I'm gonna. I I disable all. I only disable the 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 Peter Griffin one. Okay, we're not gonna play with the Peter Griffin one. But we are going to be playing with all these mods. I've decided I'm dumping the thorium run. It's just not as it's just not as it's not that good. And also Is it no volume. There we go. Much better. Let's see, what have we got? Hold on, let's look, let's make this into a mod pack. Oh, oh, no. I should probably, uh, I should probably just be updating one. But yeah, this is the mods that we have. We have Weeb, we have Fargo's, but now there's 50 more recipes. We have this one. I don't know what this one is. We have this one. I don't know what this one is. What? Is, uh, what I, I don't know. We have this one. I actually had this one before. We got we got thorium. You know, normal, normal stuff. We got the stars above, and this is a, this is a mod, all right. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, you gotta have Fargo's regular if you're gonna have the DLC. We have Gensokyo. This is the worst one. But also... They're all... They're all really good, so... The worst one means, like... The 8. This is like an 8 out of 10. These are all pretty good ones. Um... And we are gonna keep Fargo's fish anything. This is like a thing where you, when you go fish, you get anything. And the reason why I'm doing this is because for the build I pick, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna ro I'm gonna fish until I get three weapons, and then I will select from the three weapon classes. That is what I'm going to do. Let's make another one. The All right, whoa, 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 no, 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 not journey. Let's just, let's just... Oh, there you go. Perfect. Let's go with that one. And you know what? Everything else is pretty much fine, except for this. Let's, let's make. Let's just... There we go. Green. Let me go ahead and start this just to make sure. And then let me just let's make another another world. There we go. That's our that's our seed. Of course, master. This is this is the easy mode. Okay. At this point, master mode is easy mode. Uh, th that's like for modded. This is the bottom. Like, this is a minimum. And you know what? I don't really care if it's random or not. 
Now this is gonna take a while, so <laughs> give it a moment. I guess while I wait, I'm just gonna. S uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna sleep. I'm so very, very sleepy. Anyway, there's like... Ooh, look at that, it changed. Oh crap, no, I shouldn't give people seizures. My bad, my bad, my bad. Really my bad, I'm sorry. So, with my little mod pack of... Just like... Different content mods... The world is gonna be a bit different. You're not gonna really recognize it too well. If you're a vanilla Terraria player. You might not even recognize it too well if you're like a... A modded Terraria veteran, to be honest. Because I have a certain mod that adds... A lot of... Um, structures all throughout the world. Why are we dropping frames already? I think it was because I was making the world. So hold on, let's see. It was another world? Let's just go ahead and favorite that. We gotta favor that. Oh, did the- I thought that the sun had sunglasses. We're already starting off to a great start. I don't recognize this already. The music's already different. I do recognize this, though. This- this building. This is from... Which mod is this from? Nope, that's- that's the accessory. Can I even see mod? Oh. Secrets of the Shadow, I believe. Is the- where this structure comes from. And it's just like a house to start with. There's like so many things. We should probably just take this. To be fair. So to start... We're gonna take all this stuff. But this is not- this is not the important stuff. Oh, I thought we started with a grappling hook. I think... Crap, I'm so bad. Okay, hold on. I don't recognize this biome at all, by the way. Let's just make this. That didn't do anything. Okay, hold on. Oh, wait. Let's get, let's get the rest of the silver. So I think, I'm guessing that this flower stuff... Oh, oh, I thought, I thought it was lagging. I'm guessing this flower stuff is from the flower furniture, like the furniture mod, because I saw that the furniture mod ha kind of had it as the, as the, uh, the little thumbnail. So yeah. I'm going to actually reduce my UI a bit. Sorry if this is harder to see now. So to start. Obviously, this isn't hard enough. Let's go and... Oh, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. We gotta do... No, 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 it's all in here, isn't it? Okay, it's all in here now, from now on. We'll do that, first that, and then next... See, now, this is, this is still not hard enough. I'm not dying in one hit to a slime. Come on. Mutant Now we're having... Now we're playing video games. Now we're playing Terraria. Look at how far the, the the look at how far those guys can jump. Luckily my wife here, the deviant, is capable of giving me all of these free items. Including a superior pickaxe, which means you could throw this away. Wait, th what does this do? Oh my god oh, never mind, not that one. We're not anything we can throw away, let's see. Yeah, we can throw this away. Legendary roll, by the way, on the piece of trash copper. Great. Oh, we can use this immediately. We can actually use this immediately. This is like a half, half elevator. 
Let's equip some of that stuff. And I think we also start with Urish trucks. Yeah. This is also something we can equip, but uh, I don't really want to. We're, we have so we have the leveled mod too. We don't know what we're gonna pick yet, so I'm just gonna not do that yet. We need to build. We need to construct. Wait, is this a house already? No, it can't be. There's no lights. There we go. Now it is. Oh my God! The, look at the NPCs. That bosses as NPCs mod was in, is insane. <laughs> Look at how many there are. Oh, and we have Clim Calamitous. That's way later, though. Oh god, we're gonna die already. I mean, that's expected, though. Dying at the beginning of this kind of... Of, the, of these kinds of mods is actually just the expectation. So, if we die, it's not actually surprising. We also got a hammer, too. Not that one. We got this hammer. Wait. Two of the mods were like, let's start them off with a hammer. Alright, I have no idea what this material is. Is it overpowered? Or is it purely decorational? This appears to be purely decorational. That's, that's fine. I think, yeah, furniture food fun. Now, I don't know what the goal is going to be for this. Probably just to beat everything. But I also want to have like a secondary goal. I want to like do pixel art or something. Cause we, or make a huge base. What is this? Does this do stuff do anything interesting? Not really. That's a nice background. That's a nice BGM, but I hope it's not like copyrighted. We also have the boat. We also have the am amulet of many minions in case we roll summoning. But yeah. Let's actually start by moving this a little bit too. So first up, I'm gonna go ahead and put my chest just here for now. There's a lot of stuff we don't really need. Like that and that. Oh crap! Wait, wait, wait. It's important to always turn the mutant statue back, put the mutant statue back, what, paper. Mutant statue back together and put it back where it was. That's like a very key, key point in any Terraria run. We're gonna die before we get to do it. Okay, hold on. So it was here. There we go. We are very dead already. Close that. Okay. Let us start by getting our little... Where's the fishing pole? Oh, there it is. I, I'm missing it. There it is. Getting our fishing pole. We don't have any bait, though. We need to get some bait, too. Luckily, we start with a bug net. Wow, this is just hell. This is already hell. No, no. I'm gonna make it to where it, I fish it up until... Oh, that is, that is just wonderful. I fish it up, or I fish until I get three different weapon classes. Because if I roll like melee, 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 I'm not gonna just play melee. That would make no sense. But because of my huge in, uh, huge amount of indecisiveness, I'm going to let the, the randomizer do everything. Now note, you can get anything out of fishing. So that means you can get like... And get, oh frick, they brought back... They brought back pain. Wait, what the heck is that tree? Okay, I think that was a little bit bugged. Oh, here we go. A pond. I think we have to make a hole. Hold on. Or a little hubble. Nope, nope. We're not picking that yet. We're not picking that yet.
Okay. So if we roll a, if we get a huge super powered weapon, we're not allowed to use it. Frick. Can that guy hit you through the wall? Conduit legs, we can't use that. It's also not a weapon class. Dissolving earth, that's also not really a weapon. Okay, so we got radiant. That's not melee, that's radiant. So we can be healer. Already a bad start. How are we level six? I don't know how that happened. Frick. This stupid fairy is super annoying. That's that's something I can use at the beginning. I also think I can grab I can craft this, so I'll keep it. Alright, we're gonna try killing this. Alright. What is that? Rose quartz brick wall. I've never seen that before. I'll put that there. Show me some weapons. Nope. Gold brick wall. We'll put that next to the rose brick. Truffly worm. Um. We're not ready for that. Oh, what does this say? <laughs> we'll just ignore that for now. I say we dump... I guess... We dump the gills potion or something. Oh, we don't need that. I think this- I think this makes, like, instant stuff, but we don't need it. Okay, we actually got melee, for real. This one really is melee. But, wait, is that- Oh, that's the last one. Okay. That's our last choice. You know, we can just- we can probably- wait. That's- a, I know what that is. So this is a rogue weapon. So I'm either playing rogue, melee, or radiant. It has to be melee, I'm sorry. It's really boring, I know, but I have to do melee. It's the only one that actually can like, that I can like legitimately... Also, this is a treasure slime. Wow, that was, that was a, that's a really good early game item. It's the only one that I can actually scale with leveling, so that's why I have to select it. It's also far superior to the other two. Oh my goodness. We gotta make, we gotta use some of these instant houses. So these are th these are added in. These are basically Liu AFK plugins that were added in by. Um, okay, you know what I call them plugins. They're like components from Liu AFK, AFK. That mod, if you know that mod, it added a bunch of utilities. But the, instead, they're inside of the uh, Fargo mods. If you look here, it's Fargo's mutant mod. And this instant house. Is exactly what it says. It's, it crafts. It makes like a basic house. That guy just destroyed, ruined my instant house. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna look something up first. Can I even get the storm spear pre-hard mode? I don't remember where this comes from. Okay, okay, we can use this. I'm only allowed to use pre-hard mode items until. Hard mode, obviously, and then I'm allowed to use hard mode, and then the it, it's it's the ordinary it's the ordinary hierarchy of weapons, like pre hard mode, hard mode. Oh. oh 
my god, that ghost is so fast. Why is he so fast? Get out of here, ghost. He's been picking up so much momentum. Oh my god, everything kills you so easily. Also, the music is so happy in the nighttime. Okay. Please don't spawn a ghost. Everything is so fast. Why is everyone so fast? Even the even the zombies fast. My goodness, this is a modded enemy, so he's not fast. You know, we can just craft another one of those if we want to make Zenith. First order of business will have will probably be just to place these houses down actually. Yeah. Seems like a good thing to start with. We need to get them out of our inventory. They're gonna be a little ugly, but they're at least something to start with. My goodness, the storm spear might be too bro broken. How do I even get the storm spear? Hold up. Oh. This item is very easy to get. Okay, never mind. That's just how broken melee is. I guess. So I think, in ordinary uh, Terraria Master Mode, I don't think that zombies can open doors in, uh, any night. That is definitely a symptom of me playing with the Fargo Wiltus Masochist Mode. Which is what happens when you activate Eternity Mode while you're under Master Mode. It also could be a symptom of me activating Death Mode. Which is from Calamity, which just overall makes the game harder. Anyway, now that we actually know what we pick, we'll just go ahead and dump everything into melee. Yeah, melee is actually probably the strongest class out of all of them. Like, actually, no, 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 wait. No, it's Summoner. It's Summoner in this one, but... Someone or with all these mods, but melee probably comes as a close second Because of all, also because of these mods we don't need that actually we don't need the magical staff Wait, why is he dressed like a nurse? Is he dressed like a nurse? He might not be Magic bean The game actually done went and gave me the magic bean on the beans level Grocer and grandma that's a... Okay. I've never heard of those, but okay. Oh, yeah. We can use... <laughs> she sells... She, she can be used as a... Flower pylon. Interesting. Let's sell... I threw it away. Oops. Let's sell this stuff that we fished up. Let's sell this because we can't use it. I can just craft another one of these. Realistically. It's it's very... It's very key to note that it's super easy to start with all these mods because... Uh, early on, you unlock an NPC called the Architect who sells silt. Which means you basically don't have to do mining. Because the Extractinator randomly will give you, a like on occasion, platinum. Okay, well, to start, I should probably do this, and then this is a part of the, this is a part of the classes mod. We'll get rid of, we'll do, we'll do Crusader, I think. Yeah.
By the way, if you're expecting a vanilla experience, this is like like a vanilla-like experience or lore-friendly experience. No, we're not doing that here. We don't do that here. Dang, I wish the merchant was here by now. But, of course, it is not daytime. We need to construct a base so that I can put my magic storage here down. Under or ordinary circumstances, you have to craft all of the components for magic storage. But because of the... The deviant here being connected to the magic mod, magic storage mod, having like compatibility. She gives you she gives you the magic storage stuff to start with. Man, why does the guide get you no know the guide doesn't deserve this good house. Hold on. There you go. Even Move where the guide lives. There we go. Much better. I think we're gonna make a flower house to start. I don't know what, I, I'm not good at house building. So it's gonna look awful. Man, these flowers drop a bunch of fruit. It's kind of cheating. Because if I get 30 of the same fruit, I have infinite minor minor buffs. That was a uh, that was also that was something from also from Louis FK. What did we get? A sugar uh, sugar glider. That if you have 30 of the same potion buff, you get an infinite version of that. You just get it infinitely. So, yeah. Except with this one, it's actually more advanced. The way that the Fargo mod... Oh crap, he had a slime on his head. The Fargo mod implements that. Is that instead of you having to hold all of the potion buffing items, you can just have them in your... In, in either your safe or your piggy bank. They apply even from there. Still too poor for this, okay. We really want the floral pylon because it's uh, obviously just a really good item this early. Let's sell this. We're gonna open some crates here. Sell those, sell those. Cheater items, cheater items. We don't need that. We don't need that. Oh, that unlocked the... Then look at that. We don't need to just look at that though. Still too poor. Hmm. Okay, you know what? We're finally gonna look at this one. So this is the stars no more. Or the stars above? Not the stars no more. What am I talking about? The stars above. I don't know which one. I'm... I'm gonna hope that this one is more melee oriented. We have just picked flat as justice. I'm good. Okay, let's have a look here. So you got all these buffs that unlock whenever you beat the bosses. You've got this that unlocks in the hard mode when you beat the first actual st uh, Stars Above boss. You've got... I don't know what this is, actually. And that's like an archive of all the information. Man, the Storm Spear is overpowered to have this early. But as you have seen, because I've died like three times, all of these overpowered things that I have balance out with the how hard the game becomes. Oh, I got it. I got I got triple jumps. Okay. It's actually great. What does the traveling merchant got? What's he got? Wait, is the traveling merchant a guy or a girl? What do they have? 
A pretty pink dr I can't afford it. Let's just say I could afford it, okay? I want it. I want the pretty pink dress. Okay. It doesn't, it's not worth anything, is it? Ah, oh, frick it is. Okay, we're never selling those. We're throwing those away. If I ever I decide to change my vanity, we're, we're throwing it away. We don't need this piece of tr Wait, this is 20 sil- Don't- Wait, isn't this craftable? How is this 20 silver? Oh, it's not. Honestly, this is 20 free silver. This item is trash. You don't need it. When you have this many mods, you don't need it. Let's see. Yeah, I really don't have anything I can really uh, I can sell. Let's see. I guess that. I don't really need the rope because I got the half elevator. So this is like, this is like, this goes like all the way down here. Do I have enough for the pylon now? No. Obviously we're gonna buy it from her because it's uh, cheaper. But I still think I don't even have enough for that. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't be selling to him. Her. I, I'm not sure. Um, this item has been blacklisted by server host. I'm not on server. Oh, I should have that there. I should honestly have this here too. I probably shouldn't keep this truffly worm. Okay, hold up, I actually dropped off some stuff here. This is an instant bridge. Most of these items are pretty self-explanatory. They, they construct what they say. Also, what is this? A little weird, but okay. Also, they got a cooking pot. They don't need this. They don't need this. They, they don't need those. They simply do not. And in exchange for them giving me those very kindly, not by force, I'll... Oh yeah, I forgot I could do that. I'll clean up the rocks on top. We will sell that, that, mana, we don't really need that. It's two gold for free, but it's also one of the best open, best musics. Wait, does this get claimed? I'm gonna assume it doesn't. Probably don't need that. At some point there's an alchemist NPC, so flowers are actually just stuff you sell. Still too poor. Okay. You know, I am discounting the family er no wait, no, it makes a true ma a true damage weapon. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I was gonna say I'm discounting it, but it actually is like a melee weapon, but it's actually not. Also, I've been love struck by the, the deviant. We're gonna keep this traveling merchant. You know, we're, we're just gonna hold him. We're just gonna hold on to the traveling merchant. I don't see anything wrong with that. Oh, and also we get an we get the, the anime girl that we selected will in fact have a little comment every single time we enter a biome for the first time. Wait, is the music too loud? I don't think it is actually. I think it's fine. We're not gonna touch that, because that's 
too dangerous for us. That enemy actually makes no sense. For some reason, he infinitely respawns himself. I'm fairly certain. Or maybe not. Maybe it's the hard mode version. Yeah, I actually think it's the hard mode version. Now that I think about it. A little longer. I guess an observation I can make is that we rolled corruption and not crimson. I usually prefer... Actually, under normal circumstances, I would prefer corruption, but I actually prefer crimson in this. So we're already, we already got the harder one. We died. I just wanted to kill the worm, man. Okay. Now note this, the nurse is already here because we started with... We started with a, a uh, we s the game started us off by giving us some, a heart shell, or heart, crystal heart, heart crystal. What is this? Yeah, we know what you are. So this pyramid here is actually not a vanilla pyramid. It's a, it's a modded pyramid, so we can't even enter it yet. I think we have to get a particular drop. So I think... I'm gonna do what I did previously when it comes to the fishing, because obviously the fishing is overpowered. It's one of the most overpowered things that I've introduced. Is only after a boss is slain, I am allowed to fish until all of my bait in my inventory is exhausted. Now that may sound like a lot, but sometimes I only have like 10 bait. And then I get like five walls. Like half of my fishes are walls. And then the, like 25% like of my fishes are chests. Oh, what's this? Okay, we got a good one to start with, it looks like. Yep. This 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 um this class mod adds different classes that you level up by beating bosses. But also they have like a separate slot for buffs. Equipable buffs. Maybe I shouldn't keep this. Maybe I should sell this jukebox. It's great, but it's not great to keep for the whole thing forever. Like on loop. Okay, you know what? Just for space, I'll equip the I'll equip the family heirloom. Also, it seems like really early on we've got the we've got a hole to go to the underground desert. That's that's good. But you know what? I need to set up the base. I really need to set up my base. I think we'll make our... No, wait. No, this is a bad place to put the base. You never really want to put your base at spawn. Because if you have, like, another player come on, then it just all gets messed up. Oh, I think this house doesn't count as a house, right? Because of this little block. Yeah. Wait, are butterflies important? Oh my god. There's too many things. I'm so glad I cheated for this, uh, this, this pretty dress. Hold on. Uh, I think the game is still too loud. I don't know, chopping trees just get, just, like, burst the audio for some reason. And breaking, I think it's actually breaking blocks in general. Is the rabbit important? No, no, squirrels are important. We gotta get, we gotta get a squirrel. One of the first bosses that's from the Fargo mod is, uh, is a squirrel boss and it requires for the boss material. A squirrel. 
Let's make our house out of wood and flowers. I don't know what this looks like, though. Oh my god, it looks weird as heck. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get a reference. Hold on. I want to live in Miku's head. I want to live in Miku's head. I want to live in Miku Hatsino's head. Hold on. Let's see. Which head will I go with, though? We can do it too, right? Wait, hold on. No, wait, is it? No, it's not this. No, wait, it is this. It is this. We have to get some aquamarine now. That's like Miku colored, right? Hmm. That's a little advanced for me. Okay, we'll event- that is the new- that is one of the new goals. We're, we have to live in Miku's head at some point. Our house needs to become that of Miku's head. So let's put that on the screen. Hold up. Text. Goals. Goals. Kill all. Live in Miku. In Miku head. Let me make it a little smaller. Hold on. Those are some official goals right there. And we'll call. We'll actually. I'm actually gonna rename this. Terraria goals. There we go. Goals. Kill all. Live in Miku head. Now, no. When I say kill all, I mean we're gonna kill all of. We're gonna beat all of these bosses. Yes, there's a lot of them. <laughs> there's a lot. Maybe not all of them. We might not beat mutant. And we also might not beat... Frick, where's his friend? Abomination. I think we're not gonna be able to beat Mutant or Abomination. Those guys might be too hard for me. Just for me particularly. I'm, I'm terrible. I'm not a Toho player. And those guys are like... Those guys are bullet hells. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on. Let me preface that by saying they're bullet hells that you cannot tank. Because, obviously, like, what's it called? What's her name? The Empress of Light? She's a bullet hell, right? But, she's a bullet hell that I can, uh, that I can, like, face tank with enough health points and defense. Wait, hold on. Luckily, it starts you with the ruler. I don't know which mod is doing that. But whoever is doing that, that's great, actually. So, wait, so here's 20, right? Wait, this is only 6 wide? Oops. Hold on. I'm pretty sure it's Fargo, though. That Fargo mod became way, like, way more utilitarian and, and like, a uh, slice of life whenever it just absorbed... It, like, absorbed all of the... The... Louis AFK stuff. They have a Louis AFK mod, by the way. Oops.
Oh, that's what it looks like. Hold up. I wish we already had the archetype or architect. Maybe I need to build like a temp house. I'm like trying to figure out dumb, silly little houses I can make. I looked up the Blue's Clues house. But hold on, I think I thought of something else. Let's just live in a vine. Hold on. Vine. Terraria? Is it, there's a there's a vine terraria item, right? Oh, no, this is not the vine I'm thinking of. Oh, here we go. This one. <coughs> there we go. We're going to make our house into that. Because we got the green... Now, how do we do this? Get out of here. I'm considering giving myself a zen potion. Just so I can, like, not have to deal with mobs for a second. Because this is going to take a lot of concentration. kind of looks like this, but actually I messed it up a little bit. I think it needs to be like one more, more or less. And then it's got like this little thing coming off of it. Oh boy, this is gonna look like trash. But it's our temporary base for now. Just this little vine hut. Man, imagine if the stars could hurt me. I would be just dead just then. Let's put one little bit of space there. And then we can start doing this. And this is pretty much just a vine. It's already, I don't think I made it long enough at the bottom. That's fine, I think. All that matters is that I can fit my, my thing in here. It's around here that... just below. I did make it a little long on the top. Okay. Again, all that matters. Can I fit in here? It appears so. That's a bad place. That's a bad place where you put it. I should put it in the middle. Man, I don't even need mana, so Fallen Stars can, uh, can just be sold, right? Since I'm doing a melee build. really wish I had rolled something different, but, you know, sometimes it's not in the cards. What does this do? Oh, it tells me what it does now. Does this become a weapon? Grave Grim Reaver. Oh, 
that's that's really late game. This item is uh, that that's the straight up plants vs zombies item. That's cool. And I don't know what this does. Oh, this is broken. What the frick? Since when did magic storage have that? I don't remember having it. Having that. I guess since it's actually important, I'll hold it. Let's put this there. We can't even fit all of them. It's alright if we can't fit all of them. Oh, we can. But barely. It was okay if we couldn't, though. We don't need that much storage this early. Man, living in a vine is gonna be weird. We need to hold on to that, and I think the rest of this doesn't matter. Let's craft a wall. Oh, wait, we don't even need this. Let's craft two doors. Wow, they got. Oh, I thought they had three different doors. I was like, oh my goodness. Also, I just realized this is showing. The reason why I said that it was a bad decision to put it in, like, right here is because if I build up this way, then, it beca then this door becomes unopenable. Let's place some walls. Oh, I like this lattice wall. What is this? Day bloom block. I think I remember that, actually. Starshine fence, too. Okay, Cl stars are officially important. Oh, I just realized this will craft. This looks great. Living in a vine house probably wasn't the best idea. But you know what? What can I say? I did it for the vine. That was cringe. That was awful. I don't know why I said that. I shouldn't have said that. I've ruined everything. Delete this fun. Why am I so quick? Why am I so quick? Why am I so fast? What is this? Who's modifying my speed? Okay, we're gonna hunt for a squirrel now. Now the best way to hunt for a squirrel is just to just sort of like tr start, don't, don't actually chop a tree, but like start to chop a tree. Oh god, gnome, 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 gnome. Oh god, gnome! Okay, we beat the gnome. Gnome has been neutralized. Now, you've no if you've noticed, every enemy is uh, debuffing. That's because, that's because masochist mode, by its name, of course. Assumes you are a masochist who enjoys pain. Including, but not limited to, rotting by zombies, being cursed by demonic eyes, and getting your regular buffs overridden by debuffs, but because your, o your, your buffs are infinite, it causes a infinite loop with your buffs and just spasms out your buff and debuff counter. Now, if you enjoy all these things, you should you should consider downloading the Fargo mod. What is this? Oh, it was something. What the frick is this? Oh, it makes sky blue. That's that's lovely. Put this back. Oh yeah, I forgot. The cactus, the ca okay. You know what? So before the Fargo Wiltus mod, I actually it might not even be Fargo Wiltus is doing it, but one of these mods did not make like. Okay, here's the cycle. Here's how it was. First, 
you could get hurt by cactus. It was like something you had to naturally dodge whenever you enabled the, the difficulty. Then they disabled that. They were like, that's lame, that's cringe. And they disabled it. And now it appears that they have realized, you know what, the desert's already not that treacherous. Let's re-enable it. Let's re-enable the damage by cactus. So you have to, so every single time you see a cactus, you have to mine it. Honestly, I should use the cactus to make some armor. Oh frick. Forgot that one of the difficult I think it I think it's probably Fargo. Fargo it makes it to where the vultures actually attack you with a ranged attack. I need to remember that I can triple jump. Oh my goodness, my screen feels real laggy. Oh crap, I just realized I should have probably had this in like 1080p. Let's make this 1080. Just so it doesn't lag too much on stream. I've, I should have had that from the beginning. I'm so sorry if it's been choppy. Let's go to the underground desert. I feel like the underground desert has a lot of good- should have a lot of good early game stuff. Maybe I can zoom in a bit. So one thing to note about the Eurus socks, these are not- Ah, oh, frick, it's- my UI is too small now. Or too big, I mean, not too small. Let's just put this back to 100%. Can't even do that, but who cares? It's fine. Oh, I can apparently equip that to do something other than summoning stuff. What was I saying? I forgot what I said. Man, having excavating is, is awesome. Vein mine is such a great mod. If you like farming, I don't I don't I don't mind, but like farming is just annoying. So the so the vein miner is just like a godsend for me because I don't really like having to deal with farming so much. Or like grinding farming, because ordinarily you'd have to grind farm. <laughs> but since you have this, you can just sort of like excavate, or you have to like clear out whole areas one by one like that. We're super good. But with vein mine, obviously you can just you can just remove whole areas. Also, can make some good caverns. With it. My goodness, my UI is so small. I guess it's not that small on screen though. Which is good. Or on stream. And this place is barren. I can dump all this, right? Some of the stuff I don't have any knowledge of, by the way. I'd have n I've never touched Secrets of the Shadows, so... But those are some things. Oh, I can make a lot of fruit juice. Actually, I cannot. Let's make the cactus set because any armor is better than naked, I suppose. Is there anything else OP that I can acquire this early? No, I think my. S oh, okay, the wood boomerang is actually alright. Yeah. Oh, I just realized I have more items. Hold on. That I can turn into fruit juice. Once I get 30 fruit juice, I have, again, I have infinite of that buff. Yeah, even killing rabbits gives you a debuff. K 
Killing, like, any innocent creature gives you a debuff. anything from me hitting them? Ooh, this guy drops a four, which is good. That unlocks like a set that I, th that's good for the early game. Called the Wolfram set, that's from Calamity. Better than the khaki stuff, especially since I'm picking melee, which means I have the most, I, like all my armor gives me defense. Oh crap, I'm just not, I'm like, ha I'm half look, I'm looking both ways. I'm looking at my screen, I'm looking at the game and then I'm looking at chat to make sure that if anyone appears, Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do if I get any person. You know, we're just going to skip past this. I think we need to get whatever we can off the surface first. That's a lot of holes to go down. Maybe I should have a death counter too. Does a death counter make sense for this kind of thing? I think it does. Date. Date. I think I'm at four. Maybe five. I think I'm at five deaths. It's probably more than that, but we'll just set it to five for now. Let's set it to six. Let's clear this chest out. We need to clear it out. What did this do? World is generated without major issues. Water walking boots too, flower boots too. Okay. Wait, I unlocked a deviant item shop? What, or de deviant item? What did I kill? Oh, you're right, I killed the gnome. Thing that we can do. We've got this traveling merchant. She, 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 they change every single day. Or at least they're supposed to. Why are they not changing? Maybe they do. But you can also, you can also just craft the items you want. With them. Like for instance, I kind of want a katana. How do I craft it? Oh, I have to kill the- I have to get the goblin to go first, tinker first. Okay. Let's see, what else do they have? They have like a bunch of stuff. Because they're the go this is like every single secret rare item that they can- they can give you. So if we give the traveling- three traveling merchants ten platinum coins, they will give us the companion cube. We, if we get this, we win the game because we, because fishing is OP. I've never even seen this before. This is a real item. Okay, we've got another goal. We've got another goal. I think.
acquire birdie rattle. There we go. I think that's what it was called, right? Yeah, birdie rattle. Actually, you know what? No, we're gonna change that. That's too small of a... That's too small a goal. This should be get all pets. Oh, frick. <gasps> Sindria, Sindria. No, no, no water bolt me. Luckily, he's not affected by the masochist mode changes, so he doesn't deal like a billion damage. We're dead. <gasps> I'm sorry, it was really small. I didn't realize that there was a pinky there. The pinkies are scary because they do a huge knockback and they also stun you. And then they do this third thing called spawn a bunch of, of... It's supposed to spawn... I thought it was supposed to spawn more than one, but I guess it's only the mother slime now. Wow, mother slime applies the no friends debuff. Really? Oh my god. That's the most- that's really unfair. If you were a summoner and you ran into the mom's line, you're just screwed, I guess. <laughs> you just lose. Ah, oh, we didn't get enough money to go again. But yeah, some of the slimes, because of the mm, Fargo mod, with its masochist mode just end up becoming Machoishka dolls where they spawn upon death smaller and smaller slimes like for instance I think I think purple can occasionally turn in unless they've unless they removed all these they could have removed all these but ordinarily from what I remember I think purple becomes red and a blue slime and then I think the red slime can turn into a yellow slime. This is like an assortment of, of slimes. Put that in there. I have no idea what the void stuff does. I haven't looked too far into that. I don't think we need hay yet. Wait, do we? Okay, we will need it at some point. Starbeam Rye. Oh, that's, that's like, that's far away. We're not ready for that yet. Oh, I didn't even realize that I could move the void. For some reason, I can't move the rage or the adrenaline, so I'm sorry that it's there. You can probably move it but through like config, but without the ability to move it like right now, I can't really move it. Oh, I shouldn't forget my wooden boomerang. That's probably more powerful than the storm spear from a long from long range. Also, that cactus armor just hit for a bunch. That's good. What's the what should be my first order of business for this first episode or for this first? game or first bot first i guess it's kind of like a first episode this is new by the way i've never d seen that wait what is what what is that is this a mini boss this is a mini boss i've never seen this mini boss before Oh, that is some weird AI right there.
Oh, I forgot to put my money away. I think this from the Secrets of the Shadows or whatever that one was called. Oh boy. The cactus one. I just want to cheese him. The piercing. Oh god. That attack is a little bit fast. Oh, we got him. We got him. He dropped some... Okay, so one of the things to know... Oh, he didn't drop it. What the frick is this? That's new. Oh my god! This is all the trash that's been lying around the world? That probably was causing... That was for sure causing that. Wait, something got, like, a whole building got deleted or something. Okay, you know what? I forgot to get my piggy bank, though. Pigus, Pigus bank. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me get some, let me get some platforms here. Let's get this one. We only need two. Bank. Oh, frick. Okay, right, we'll put it one higher. That there. Luckily, it's still easy to see. That's good. So, what have we accomplished there so far? Base. Weird looking base. Five houses. Six houses, actually. Considering that one of them is that. We got some armor. We've already maxed out our inventory. Or our little things here. I don't even... Oh, no, I got the tsunami from the three crates. Our starting class is... Or our, our class... Not starting class. Our class for this playthrough is going to be melee. I guess we should try this boss one time. Which means I need to go down here so I can find a living wood chest, hopefully. Surely that would be. Lighting is being a little weird. I need to figure out the palette mod too, so I can change the way that the Terraria looks. What the heck is over there? What is that? I don't know what that is over there. I've gotta go get it. Is that the underground temple or the pyramid dungeon somehow being open a little bit? That's weird. I don't know how this will affect the progression of that, if that's the case. Oh yeah, it totally is. Look, there's the pyramid. I need to apparently unlock this grandma and grocer. Oh frick, it doesn't like that. Oh, but I can grab the item. Okay, let's see. Does the red slime have Matryoshka effect? No, it doesn't. Okay. Oh, what? Why is it a normie chest? Man, no, no chest apparently. Double trees, no living wood chest. Wait. Wait, there's triple cheese trees. Triple trees. Ah, here we go. Wait, does this count as a house, all of a sudden? No. Okay. We can apparently try this mo this boss. Wait, can I craft this? Oh, yeah, I can, actually. Oh. I should have grabbed that living loom, though. I mean, we've already got the core. Oh my god, that zombie just... <sighs> uh. 
zombie jump scare. He jumped so high. So these keystone shards are necessary for the for the puzzles inside of like those secrets of shadow dungeons. So I'm surprised I could get it or get it without even being in the dungeon. Okay, let's see. Was uh, this kid? Hmm. Who knows? How hard is it gonna be? Oh, we're gonna die. We're this is this is too hard. Okay, you know we're gonna have to make the. We're gonna have to make the. Oh my god. We're definitely gonna have to make an arena for this. But I actually that's not too bad. But I think we need an arena. I think with an arena it's all gonna be a lot easier. Though that was probably just phase one. Let's let's listen to it. You know, enough. Enough calamity music. Okay, so we need to find another core. Should probably use some of these potions. Actually, wait. No, 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 hold on. We need to get some glass. I need to always be checking out for oh god. For for bait, because whenever I beat a boss, obviously I get to reroll. Or I get to go look not reroll. Sorry, look look fish for some item. Oh my god, there's so many zombies. Oh my god, why is he so fast, but this one's slow? What is this guy doing? Oh, thank goodness. He's got limited range. What? Oh, that was really lucky. A star just fell on the Sindrion and killed him. I guess he's got like a big hitbox, so... That's kind of fair. I didn't expect him to expect it to kill him in one hit, though. Oh, this is worthless, right? This is useless. Oh, that- nope, that's the modded one. Yeah, that is worthless. At least I could make- no, I don't have enough. If I had enough, I could make a pickaxe with it. Let's just take a look here, let's see. I, d I, ju I just need to see some- Constructs, some Wolfram drones and such. Or maybe I'll just stop for today. Yeah, I, I forgot that I also had the community remix for Calamity, which is real apparently. I thought it was not real. Take that, Redditors. Saying that it wasn't real. What else is, is, is mod? I've never fought this before. That's a new Gensyoko mod. Boss. I'm just running without even paying attention. Seiran. That's another new one. The Advisor? Never fought that before. I don't even think I've ever gotten, like, past pre-hard mode with the secrets of the shadow mod. Kishime is old. Oh, frick. We're being murdered. I should have been paying attention from the beginning. Man, I got a lot of stars from just walking without paying attention. Oh, 
hopefully we don't get a blood moon anytime soon. That would be terrible. Wait, can I even? No, I cannot actually. I can't even get a blood moon. <gasps> it's me! Silt! Wait, do I have... I don't have an extractinator though. The extractinator nator. Yeah, I don't have one. Can I craft it? Apparently I could've. I'm stupid. I'm never getting wooden crates. That's never happening. Apparently I missed some silver. Apparently there are some more modded plants here at the bottom. Okay, actually there's only one. Yeah. I'm just not satisfied yet. Let's go get an extractinator. A Doofenshmirtz item, of course. I guess this water didn't load. Or not load. No, it, it's not that it didn't load. It's that it doesn't fall unless I was like on screen. So that's a little weird. Ooh, one tier. What is that? Is that diamond already? No, it's aquamarine. A beginning step to a sec. Wait, this is a different aquamarine. There's two aquamarines now? What? Huh? It doesn't even turn into gem flark. There's no ge Oh wait, there it is. Never mind. Okay, you know what? That's actually fine because that means that we have an easier way of getting aquamarine. We're one step closer to constructing Hatsune Miku's head and living in it. Ooh, also there's a chest here. Okay, we're, we can't get- we can't afford to get hit by this. We need to have friends. We can't copy reality. And debuffed. Okay. okay this mod is too real. Who are Hermi Hermes roots? Can you even stack Hermes plus Urus? I also forgot that he drops a bunch of bones on death. That's scary. Jesus. Crap, that turns on Blood Moon. I shouldn't have done that. It also turns on Eye of Cthulhu. I shall just do mistakes all around. I wonder if they fixed the silt thing with the vein mine. For some reason, whenever you vein mine under or silt at a particularly wrong angle it just made floating silt i don't know if they fixed that though there's a dynamite down there yeah, i don't think we're gonna defeat that boss today Oh, we're gonna find the extractinator. You ain't the bouncy one. What is that weird material? Peridot. Huh? Ooh, that's a good one. That's a great one, actually. There's, there's apparently a very small piece of stone right here. Okay, you know what? We should probably just follow the minecart, but in the other direction. Oh wait, I haven't even gotten to the. Oh my! Oh my God! Why is he so big? Why is this one so big? 
Also, they definitely... Whoever made this is a Steven Universe enjoyer. It would appear. Because... Rose Quartz, Peridot... No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Steven Universe didn't invent all the gemstones. Oh, wait, what are we on? Like, seven? I think we're on eight death? Eight death. I think we're on eight death. Haven't been keeping up with that. My bad. Hopefully you don't just fall down here. That would be embarrassing. Fall down here and land. Oh god, that's cheating. That is so cheating. Oh, we can't afford to go and mine that. <gasps> Double chest. This is not a trap chest, too. Amazing. Ooh, we've unlocked the Av Cthulhu. Is that Peridot? That's a Peridot. Why are these mod- why are the modded crawlers huge? That's not normal. My immersion is ruined? I'm just kidding. No, my immersion was ruined as soon as I, I touched the slime and my bones melted. I was like, how could the slime be so powerful? Evo stone. Marble. Wrong blue haired anime girl, you're wrong. I guess it's not really blue haired, it's blue character blue colored. Just blue 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 themed anime girl, you're wrong. It's not easy. It's not easy. Ooh, that's a lot of platinum. Okay, please tell me this has an extract no. Oh, apparently we got another life crystal at some point. So I think... The puffin of... Oh no, you know what? We should just have triple. So now I should be able to quadruple jump. No. No, one of these gets overridden. I think it's this one. I think the puff in the bottle is... Oh, another one. The puff in the bottle is worse than... Oh crap, there's like a spawner, I think. I think, there's a, I think there was like a pressure plate near that. The puff in the bottle is worse than the cloud in the bottle, I think. That's exactly the same item. So this... Oh! He followed me! He followed me! Why did he follow me, you bully? Okay. Luckily he sucks. He is not affected by water, though. Contrary to popular belief, you cannot put the fire imp in water. Did he drop a... Oh. That's not a melee weapon. Can't even use it. I should have picked the rogue class, apparently. Not only did I roll a... Oh, good. Look, see, look. That red slime just ended up being my choice doll. My choice doll. Summoning... On death, summoning a green slime. Man, I should have picked rogue class, though, because apparently my rogue early luck is crazy. <clears throat> it would have been really, really bad, though. It would have been really trash. Like, heinously awful. In the future. With the leveled mod, there's also the... F every single mob also kind of, like... Gets stronger based off of your level. So... Wait, actually, that might not be true. That may or may not be true, what I just said. In the past it was, though. And it made, it made like, modded setups completely uh, obsolete. Unless they had compatibility. There was also a limit to your level back then. Now there isn't. You just become level a billion. Uh, 
However, even at level a billion, you can't kill. You can't clear mutant unless you have the skill or abomination. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna just go ahead and say it. A mutant and abomination are kind of like Sans Undertale. Um, Sans Undertale, except you're not a heart, you're, you're a player. Which mean do, it doesn't mean it's easier. It means that the doves were like, oh, you, since you're not Sans Undertale, I mean, San, I mean, not Sans Undertale, since you're not just a heart, that means you have better movement, right? Let's make it even harder. Like Sans Undertale mod. Oh my god, so many heart crystals on the way down. What do these do? Oh, Game Hunter. That's a new that's a new one. Okay. Frick, he can the gin so kill enemy can attack from a distance. From any distance. Oh, okay, okay. So they don't have, they don't have, the, the attack doesn't pierce to the ground. Okay. I was trying to put down torches, but I done goofed and accidentally mined the ground. We should probably put these and the beans and the tote, the medallions all in our piggy bank. Man, that cactus set's doing work. Put this in there. You can dump all of this. <clears throat> oh, you know what? I I need to I need to be getting some glass. I don't have a furnace. All this way without a furnace. <gasps> Whoa, we need that. We need that squirrel. Get back here. If you if you, if you look, I am correct. Oh wait, what is this? Ugh! Don't eat the squirrel. That's that's that's, that's a fallout reference. You look here. Squirrel coat of arms requires a squirrel. That's the. It's actually. I think this is actually the first. Actually, not think. This is the first Fargo mod or Fargo boss. Wait, is this better than this? It is! Wait, this has a crafting recipe? What? Huh? Oh, if we fish a fishing rod, by the way, I'm allowed to use it. Those aren't really weapons, so they don't count. I should probably craft some more houses. Seven. Let's go put some houses on the other side. And then we can put one also, put some on the side of, the other side of my, uh, my little vine house, hut. I wonder if there's a way to like, create your own config, fig, configured house. I, it would be OP. Because you could just, like, replace it with unfair, overpowered, placeable items. But, you could also make it to where you don't have just these blo boxes. Oh, there's some floral wood inside. Hmm. I wonder if these people like this biome, the floral biome. Let's put a house over here too. Look at all those, that's a lot of NPCs. How many NPCs is this? Let's have a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is five, this is 10. 12 84 plus 5 minus 1 There's 88 NPCs 
Okay, hold on. It's getting a little bit small, or it's 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 getting there's, the list is getting a little long now. But we gotta get all those NPCs. We're only are we in an eleventh of the way there? Do we have eight? Oh, we do. We're an eleventh of the way there. I forgot about making a furnace. I was like. I saw the little house thing, and I got distracted. Glass. Bottle. Man, I'm so poor. Don't even have that many bottles. Bar. Wait, whoa, I apparently got some of these. Hold on. So with the bottles... We'll be able to make some juice, and then with the juice, we'll have infinite. We'll have an infinite buff. Oh, what's this? Wait, every attack. Man, that's cringe. Wait, that makes ranged even stronger. What on earth? Attacks permanently cursed enemies for four damage per second. Stacking up to. F th that doesn't sound fair. Now, does it consume it on swing or on hit? Swing. It consumes it on swing. Horribly bad. I guess you're meant to only use void weapons occasionally. Ooh, I can make a platinum short sword. Nah. It should be here, by the way. And then... Oh, I can equip this. That's a lot better. I had an empty slot. Do I need that stuff? Oh, apparently I can make a lucky horse here. That's broken. Let's do that over this. That's like a summoning item, anyway. Um, let's go craft that juice. So we just need 30. Oh, it takes two every one. Uh-oh. Oh, these are some pretty items. Peridot door. These are gems that you can craft into just normal furniture. Interesting. I actually also can afford more houses, apparently. Probably because I destroyed trees. Let's just do that. Let's fill the trees with houses. This house will, or this tree will eventually become a tree house. Uh, a house tree, not a tree house. Like the fruit is, is houses. Okay. I never got an extractinator, but we did end up expanding the village by a lot. We got like one, like five, 10, 15, 16 houses now. That seems pretty good. Wait, did I die again in the cave? I think I did. Hold up. I don't, I don't, I just don't remember if I recorded it or not. I'd like a cat. Oh, I didn't mean to take away your torch. My bad.
Ooh, I forgot we're not at max health, so I should definitely be looking out for this stuff. So how is that? So my day has been interesting. Um, I went to the carnival or a carnival today. Every May, my town has a little carnival where you can like ride rides and play scam games. It's a good time, I guess, for some. Chalcedony, does this make armor? No. Pretty though. That's very pretty. Can I put it down? No. Oh, all right. I guess. Is that a moth statue? Butterfly statue. Still no extractinator, huh? Can I mine the demonite with this? I hope I can. Because I'm gonna try. Ooh, there's also gold here. Anyway, there was a carnival. I didn't. I don't really like riding rides, so I didn't really ride too many rides. I only rode the Ferris wheel that they had. And I got some shaved ice. That's pretty much it. I didn't really do too many things interesting, but my nieces decided they wanted to ride like. Oh, frick. Decided that they wanted to ride like the most dangerous looking one. In fact, it was so weird because. Oh god, those things are moving weirdly. And through the ground. Okay. They decided they wanted to ride the most dangerous one. It was so dangerous, in fact, that you couldn't pay for it with these, like, with the fake currency they had. They had, like, a. They had, like, these tickets that you could pay for rides for with. But this one you had to pay just straight up ten dollars to ride. So one of my nieces, they rode like together. There, there's, there's, there's two. Of, there were two of them, and they rode together. And so it costed, it cost like twenty dollars, because ten dollars per person. And one of the, one of my nieces said that she just blacked out during the, or she passed out during one of the during the ride it was really funny because the ride itself was called the blackout so it lived up to its name also that's a green slime that's a green slime I ain't never seen that before okay show me this curse forever Oh, they really do be cursed forever. Okay. Except it's only one point. Wait, that's not fair. That's actually kind of broken. That may not seem like it, but that's that's actually pretty strong. Even if you hit them one time and they're an enemy that can't chase you, that's pretty good. But anyway, they rode this giant the the giant thing. It was like this device that that's both like a pendulum but also it like rotates and the pendulum would eventually build up enough momentum that it would spin all the way around and I guess they I, I guess one of them I think I think one of them particularly likes rides like that where they're really dangerous seeming or nauseating in a sense Oh frick, I'm all out of... If you run out of void, you just start he you're using your health points. So you gotta, you gotta pay attention to your void. Ooh, we leveled. Oh, they all got trapped too. Sweet. Or one of them did, not the other one. Oh my god, there's so many of those sitting mushrooms. Those things are annoying. Can you see them? Look at that. 
Ooh, we got a cat. So yeah, they decided to ride that one. They also rode on the Ferris wheel with us. Well, they weren't re really with us, but like we rode at the same time. Me and my brother, and then also my sister and my other niece. I have like three nieces and one nephew. So my three nieces rode with their mom, or with my sister basically, their mom. Me and my brother rode together in a car. But then also my nieces decided they wanted to ride in the one that was basically like a jail cell. There's like this ride where you sit in a jail cell and then the jail cell ro rotates while the whole con construct also like kind of rotates. Overall, I thought like every single ride w seemed really rickety. So I was like, oh my goodness, it feels like everything is going to fall apart. And my brother had the same sentiment. Ooh, we unlocked the game hunter. I'm just letting enemies kill me. Uh, yeah, that's how my day has been today. Oh boy. See, the main- the most annoying thing about the sitting mushroom is there's like a ranged attack, basically. A, a very light ranged attack that does a lot. I don't even remember- I don't even know where he's from. Oh, I should level my melee again. There's a lot of enemies here. Oh my goodness, I have three life crystals? I've just been holding all these life crystals for some reason. Can't even mine the obsidian. Oh, that's more Evo stone. I don't know what that does, but I imagine it's decorative. Oh, see there? The recall potions don't get exhausted because I have 30 of them. This is functionally a, mo uh, a magic mirror. Okay, you know, I think I'm, I'm getting the feeling like this is a good place to stop. I, I did a huge underground expedition. I got my base up. I got a goal list. Which we're probably not going to be able to complete all the way. Let me hide some of these though. I legitimately acquired a pretty pink dress. Along with the headband and, the, and all the stuff, all the fixings. Totally legitimately. No cheating at all. Also, I stole the traveling merchant. Who is this? Oh, frick. Oh my god. That was bad. The game had an error. Free fruit. Yeah, I'll take free fruit. What is this? This guy is, uh, this guy is from that one mod, it seems. The furniture mod. Perfectly generic object. Wait, but it's, it's not the... They, they went and put the perfectly generic object. In. Oh, you know what that's from, actually? I know what that's from. I remember this. Yeah, I remember this mod adding that. That item is from the Stardew Valley game. If you had, uh, if you had mods... What? Z 
Zillium ore. Oh, they just, they're just placeable rainbow bars. <coughs> anyway. If you had a mod in Stardew Round and then you didn't, and then you unloaded that mod, the items would all turn into perfectly generic items and per er, objects and perfectly generic objects uh, were placeable. So that was like a way to like fix removed mods. Anyway, that's enough getting distracted. I think that's enough for today. We're gonna become the strongest ever melee guy by the end of this. We'll be unstoppable. I guess I can show that the end game for this build is slime rain. Yeah, this this, this is the most powerful item. It does that says 7,000, but whenever you get buffs, it just, it goes out of control. It reaches like thousands. And what this does is it just attacks the whole area. But yeah, we'll eventually reach that point. Either we'll fish it up or somehow I will beat the mutant. If we fish it up and we're at like the end, I'm allowed to use it, obviously. If we're past Moonlord, that's when that's allowed. That's like a post Moonlord item. Hey, that's all for today. See you all Monday.